how tesla uses high tariffs on their competitors to sell more cars and thus remain profitable in the electric vehicle industry so first of all we need to understand the concept of tariffs so what are tariffs tariffs are essentially the taxes that government imposed impose on imported goods so suppose there is a country and that country has many companies that produce good goods uh, for example uh, we will take the example of uh, Europe, european union in this case so this region has a lot of uh, car manufacturing companies but the consumers here also want cars from cars that are manufactured in other countries for example tesla so there is no uh, factory um, manufacturing uh, teslas in european union there is no company manufacturing these cars in european union so for consumers uh, to meet the consumer demand of these vehicles they have to import these vehicles from china there is a factory there is a tesla manufacturing factory tesla car manufacturing factory in china so from china these cars are imported to european union so when these cars are imported uh from china to to european union so the government there impose taxes on these cars why do they do so they do so because they want to give an they want to maintain a level playing field they don't they they don't want to they don't want to they don't want their consumers to to just buy electric imported electric vehicles they want their consumers to buy locally manufactured vehicles so how do they do so they impose taxes on the imported vehicles so these taxes make those imported vehicles more expensive and less when they become more expensive and less attractive to consumers so then consumers are essentially forced to buy locally produced good goods uh, for a lower price so this is the this is the main concept of uh, tariffs so recently uh, tesla tes tesla the european union uh, imposed a 20.8% tariff on chinese made tes tesla's chinese made vehicles so this was done as i have mentioned earlier this was uh, done to maintain a level play playing field and offer advantage to the local companies to maintain a fair competition so what did tesla do tesla appealed tesla appealed to this by say by telling the government by telling the eu governments that uh, other companies uh, that uh, that other other ev manufacturing companies are are having subsidies financial advantages uh, from from china and we are not receiving any subsidies so this is why um, so their appeal was approved their request application was approved and the tariffs was reduced to 9% so from 20.8% the tariffs the taxes were reduced to 9% this gave a tesla a big advantage a significant cost advantage um, compared to other chinese ev manufacturers so for other ev manufacturers that are receiving subsidies what are subsidies subsidies are the financial support that uh, a government receives that a government gives to the company the local companies so those companies that are receiving subsidies they are facing a 36.3% uh, tar tariffs uh, in in the eu european union
so how can you use this uh, how can you apply this if you are running your own business if you are if you have your own company how can you navigate the tariffs uh, imposed by a country in which you are selling your um, goods so this is how you can do this like tesla like tesla did you can appeal for tariff reductions so you can submit applications and tell them a reason why they should reduce um, the tariffs so this requires thorough, thorough documentation and a clear understanding of tariff application process another strategy that you can use is localization if tariffs import in, in, if tariffs on imported goods are too high consider moving part of your production to the region imposing the tariffs so if you are from china or if you are from usa and you are you have a company and you are producing goods and you are selling your products in china so you can what you can do you can you can uh, under your brand name you can set up a factory in china as well so so this is called localization as tesla have done tesla have made a factory in china as well so they have done localization and that way they have um, they they will not uh, no tariffs would be imposed on on their products so this is how you can do this you can read it here and leverage tariffs against competitors if your competitors are subjected to subject to higher ta tariffs and you are not use this as a marketing tool so you can also use this as a marketing tool you can tell your potential consumers that hey other companies uh, our companies is uh, subject to higher tariffs and we are not receiving any subsidies we are not receiving any, any financial uh, support from the government and our product is also too too good so you can you can do so as well to highlight your pricing advantage so this is more simple ex simpler explanation on tariffs so this is as i have mentioned earlier tariffs are imposed to protect local businesses by making for foreign goods less competitive so when foreign goods become more expensive they automatically become less competitive to local consumer to the local consumers so how does tesla use trade tariffs to their advantage as we, as we as we talked about it in earlier uh, they just appealed to the eu government and they told them that this is the case so how can you use this strategy in your business you need to know the rules understand how tariffs are affecting your products if they are making your products too expensive you can negotiate for a lower rate make locally and use tariffs to your advantage now uh, we will talk about uh, we will discuss this make locally so if tesla has appealed to the eu government i this okay so if tesla has appealed to the eu government to re reduce tariff why couldn't they just um, set up a factory in the european union as well so they have already done so in germany uh, they have set up a factory in germany but that fa that factory uh, is not big enough to manufacture vehicles to manufacture to meet the demand uh that factory factory is not big enough they cannot produce enough vehicles to meet the local to meet the demand and this also comes with costs for example factory infra uh, if if tesla want to uh, create just like they have done in china if tesla want to create a factory in uh, european union as well so this will come with high cost factory infras infrastructure this will also require a big investment 
and there are supply chain issues for example tesla has existing partnership with suppliers in china and market demand is also another factor uh, so europe is a critical market for tesla but it is not the largest one so this is another thing and regulatory and logistical challenges so these are all the things that um, prevent uh, that is currently preventing tesla from setting up their factories in europe uh, as we as we talked about it earlier cost of building new factories parts and supplies so the parts for vehicle manufacturing those parts are easily available in china so that's why they it is more profitable for them to just uh, face the tariffs face the nine percent tariffs and import goods from china then set up then building new factories in europe so that's how you they do it and that's how you can also use this concept and these strategies uh, in your business